the fog sets in. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Zero. Welcome back to Ram Royale Reforged and today we are in the PTS version of Ram Royale Reforged as somehow and out of completely nowhere, the PTS went live with the update we've all been waiting for for several weeks now. Now, I want to address a few short things before we actually get into the meat of it. Is that, uh, yes, the PTS is currently opened and as far as I know, it's going to be opened until Monday. That's what was being said. Now, whether they'll keep it open for a little bit more, I don't know. But the reason why they are opening it is because a trios tournament is being hosted this weekend and there's going to be a bunch of people from the community participating in it, including your boy. I'm going to be participating in that tournament, so make sure you tune in to my teammates live stream. I'll be playing alongside Lush Rooms and Smarmy Tank trying to get some prizes if we can. And uh, yeah, we're going to be there. Hopefully you guys are here as well. But about the update, I've already made a video listing off all the changes that are going to be happening in the update. It was pretty in-depth. It was over 20 minutes long. I'll link it in the top right corner of the video if you guys have not seen it yet. But nothing has basically changed a lot since I made that video. So, yeah, we're just gonna run through this game, see what the big changes are, and I'm very curious, especially as to how the engineer's gonna look like. Because as you guys know, that was the main uh, nerf target for this patch, obviously a very, very, very strong character. Not one to mess with, so uh, thankfully you got patched, but we're gonna see how that looks like. And just so you guys can take a look at that as well. Now, some of you guys may have been wondering why the update has taken so long to properly release. And I can actually explain because they have been very transparent about that communication. Basically, as some of you may or may not know, when games get released on multiple platforms, they have to go through a update certification period. What that basically means is that the update is sent onto the major editors that own the console. So for example, Sony has PlayStation, Microsoft has Xbox, and they all look at that side of the update and they decide whether or not it can go onto their platform and if it is safe for users, you know, just verifying that there's nothing sketchy going on. The update has actually been ready for almost a week and a half at this point and has been already sent, but for some reason, one of those platforms... has taken its sweet little time getting the game through and that's why we are stuck here right now I have no idea when it'll be completely available now but you know what I want to try and I can feel the sentry already has less range than it used to. Now one of the buffs that was on the engineer is with the shock rifle where okay. Where the projectile speed was increased drastically on this weapon, but the damage was reduced, so I was trying to try that at the same time that I was struggling to hit the enemy, but that's besides the point, that's where we are right now. The update is not getting through one of the platforms and it's kind of blocking everything and blocking the update from releasing to all of us. That is why the update hasn't come out, it's something you guys wondering, but... What I'm really interested in is getting the Betty grenade launcher in my hands and just to see how hard they nerfed it, because... Uh, yeah, that was, that was the main culprit of the engineer being broken. So hopefully it got changed accordingly. Another thing that I would like to check out is one of the changes they have made to Outpost. And I'm just only finding shock rifles apparently. Unbelievable luck. Because as some of you guys may know, there was a change at Outpost that I was a little confused by. I didn't really know what it was about. And there's also a spot we have to visit up here in Crossing Slash Valley. As there was another change over there, so uh, I'm gonna have to check that out. One thing's for sure, this thing is still beaming. Okay, so I'm not sure... What is different here? Uh, 
Maybe this is the ramp that was already added? But I'm pretty sure there was something about a spot or a stairway being added around here. And it's just not the case, so... Pretty odd. Oh wait, hold on. Is that it? Is that the... I think that's it. Yeah, it's this little platform here that was added. Definitely was not here before and it allows you to go back to that stairway over here. Okay, so that was added. Or re-added, I guess, because it was here in the game years and years and years ago. Interesting. Alright, let's go now to the underpass spot and see what was changed over there. I'm going directly into Storm to try and show you guys the change that has been happening here. Okay, so it seems like this spot right here has not been removed, which is a good thing for some of you all. And it seems like it's actually properly an underpass where you can't really access it anymore. It's a little bit of a rough terrain to get here. I don't think it's going to be completely impossible to get there, though. Going to be interesting. Probably going to be a, a sore only spot for the mage now, so only mages will be able to get up here. But still pretty interesting nonetheless. Okay, now the last thing I want to take a look at is to try and find the Betty Grenade Launcher. I'm... Okay, I think we'll have a chance to upgrade it to gold if we do find it in number 4. But I really, really want to see how it operates now, how it looks like, how it feels like. I'm really, really curious about that. Okay, there it is. Now, as you saw, it said 400 damage right here. So already something noticeable and 1.3 shots per second. So, uh, let's try this on this conveniently placed enemy right here. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm really a fan of this. Let's pick up the shock rifle back. I'm going to go into the crossing forge really quickly before it's out of zone. And then after that, I'm going to try to upgrade the Betty and Guntown here. And up here at Goblin Gulch. One thing I did forget about is the healing feature of the grenade launcher. So let's just see how that does now. Wow. Okay, so purple rarity acts like a green rarity for healing. Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> That is a rough patch, but might have been a needed one. It was a needed one. It, it really was. It was getting pretty tiring, especially in trios who just run into squads that did nothing but Betty's spam. So it was a really necessary change. A tank's on pretty hard just to get us this golden grenade launcher, but now let's see how fast it can heal us. Okay, that's pretty. <laughs> Woo, that's pretty. We're not used to this. All right, guys. I'm holding fire right now, by the way. I'm not top firing. Shock rifle is being kind of kind of the carry weapon here. I'm not gonna lie to you, all, but uh, hey, they didn't lie. They nerfed this this class to the ground. This Betty is pretty tough, man. I mean, we're gonna have to use it in close quarters because obviously that's its most effective range, but uh. What I'm seeing right now, whoo! It's pretty harsh. All right, and here we have the shock rifle in gold. So before we go into the zone, I just wanted to show you 650 damage for the golden Betty, and for the golden shock rifle, 680 damage. So the shock rifle is slapping right now. It's slapping pretty hard. But let's see if it slaps just as much on direct hits. Hear that to my left. Ability-wise, it's still a very, very good class. Let's not apply to ourselves here. Did I just do a thousand for a headshot? Hold on. I mean... <laughs> that was... Kinda crazy. Can't lie. If there's anything to remember from this patch is that the grenade launcher is dead! R.I.P. or not. Depends if you were an enthusiast or not. But yeah, go. Oh, there's our last target actually, so we can still test the golden grenade launcher. All right, let's see. It just doesn't hit the same, doesn't it? All right, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Don't forget to watch one of my friends that are going to be live streaming in this current. Oh yeah, there's a feature. There's a new feature. I don't know if you guys noticed that on the health bar. I took damage from this chicken. And I was out of combat for a few seconds, I couldn't heal. Okay, 
So that's another new feature as well that I completely forgot to talk about. And that the workers did actually talk about. And they implemented it quite fast. As I was saying, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget I'm participating in the Sunday tournament. So make sure to check out one of my friends in the description down below. Smarmy Tank and Lost Shrooms. Don't forget to check them out. Awesome guys, awesome streamers. And uh, yeah, they're going to be my partners for this tournament. Thank you very much for watching. It's a zero. And I am out.